What's the back again with another video? In today's video, guys, I hope you guys enjoy some DayZ in the background. I was gonna do some MW story gameplay, but I'm still uploading the videos and editing all that, and I didn't really want to fuck with my um, save files that I have set up right now. So, we're just gonna watch some DayZ running in the background. Um, but I need to talk to you guys about some things. <laughs> and there will be spoilers. So, spoilers, 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 spoilers. If you don't want to see it, if you're following along with the story videos that I'm uploading, then don't watch this quite yet. Or if you are not play the game and you're not even watching my story videos as you're waiting, don't watch those and don't watch these, obviously. Um, we need to talk about the story for NW2 because I have some things I need to get off my chest. And I wanted to talk about it while it was fresh. Um, the story was really good. I really enjoyed it. Now, the problem I had, I think this is the biggest problem I had over all of the other things that I want to talk about, um, is they overuse soap. They abused, uh, not soap, I'm sorry, ghost. They abused ghost. I would say even partially some soap, too. I feel like kind of soap is kind of a mainstay of the game as well. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying things like ghost being overused kind of took away from the, the coolness that I think Ghost had in the original. Now I get that the this version of MW2 is a different storyline. Like obviously in this storyline Shepard's still alive and he's younger and Ma Makarov's still alive in this timeline. And um the different the difference in stories, right? Obviously. My only concern was that they fast they overused Ghost to the point where it felt like they were making fun of him almost in a way because or they using him just to get into our pockets. Because in the original, I think what made Ghost so great in the original was that he wasn't in every mission. He wasn't a part of every storyline. He was only hinted at and then the missions that he was in were really fucking good missions. Which I think made him so likable and enjoyable because when he was on screen, he meant something. It wasn't just a character that was there, right? And anyone that's played the original or even the campaign remastered, I think, could understand where I'm coming from. Now, the remake or new version is kind of overkill because. Every mission has involved Ghost. I think there's only like three missions out of like, oh what, 17 missions? I think maybe three, maybe maximum of four or five missions didn't have him. 90% of the campaign, or at least 80, at least 80% of the campaign, you're playing with Ghost all the fucking time. Um, either that being you're running with him, or you're working your way to him. And he's talking to you the entire time. And when you're doing that, you're usually playing as Soap. Again, a, another character who you're constantly with the entire game. And that's fine, right? Because Captain Price is someone who in the original, like, COD 4 in MW2, you play a lot with Captain Price, almost every mission. But Captain Price was treated differently. His dialogue made sense. You you understood that he was with you constantly. It just overall made sense. Um, the problem that I had with Ghost was I felt like they kind of made him cheap and kind of worthless in a way because they made him super super spammed and um, and it bothered me a lot. And then it didn't. It bothered, I t only took notice to it about 50% of the way, but what really nailed it in the coffin that I realized they were just overusing him was, I think it was, I think midway through the game, I think mission like 16, 15, no, it was 14, 14 or 15, um, is when you find out, and again, spoilers, because I'm sounding, <laughs> click away now, save yourself right now, um, the Shadow Company, a.k.a. the P American PMCs, which are, if anyone that doesn't know this, playing the game and doesn't know what PMC stands for, um, is Private Military Corporations. Um, a lot of them go by PMs. Um, 
and it's basically a private military. They pay, you pay them a shit ton of cash. You pay them like a million dollars, and they'll go in and take care of your situation for you. And uh, that really sealed it when they turned to be evil. I mean, I kind of figured that out throughout the story that they were just too that the, the PMC was way too strong. The shadows were way too strong. I mean, they had a fucking AC win thirty as soon as they were they were uh, really like shown off, right? And I knew as soon as I saw the AC one thirty that they're obviously going to be evil. Like, there was no way that this this group of military was so powerful they had AC one thirties and they were just going to be on our side, no problems. Like, it was too obvious. Besides that, when we found out officially that they were evil, when they kicked us out of the base and through all of our, our rebels that we had fighting with us, um, which were Mexican fi free freedom fighters, in their prison and shot our boy Soap in the arm, we kind of fell back to, I think it was, I don't remember the town's name, it's a Mexican town that was involved with the story near the base. Um, basically, Shadow's going on this huge ass fucking like killing spree, genocidal killing spree against anything that was related to the cartels. Again, another weird thing: this game was really focused on the cartel. I understand it was trying to drive this story between um, the Alcatala and then the, the 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 terrorist organization with the cartel with the the, the drug dealers. I just thought that was kind of odd. They they were really they really hammered in with that cartel. I thought it'd be like a one and done mission, two and done, maybe a three and done mission. But no, like thirteen missions were just 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 cartel only. Like like majority of the story, the main missions anyway, were all cartel related, which I found was really odd. Um, but not game breaking in any way. I think the missions were great. Um, but anyway, you go through that mission, you meet up with Ghost after a painful mission where it crashed consistently um thank god a lego unlocked on twitter for telling me how to get past that because i really was where i couldn't get past it um but when you meet up with ghosts you guys go and um rally up with alejandre's um squad mate his teammate his his, his battle buddy basically um for my airsofters or military guys that watch these videos it is he's basically his battle buddy is what it is and at their uh, Alejandre's um, hideout, because Alejandre was captured when they shot Ghost in the arm, and they squat up with him, and they go and they basically reattack this PMC base. Which, mind you, I don't understand how the fuck we managed to actually take over the PMC prison, um, because they have AC 130s. Like, I don't understand how they allowed this to happen, but it is what it is. We take it over, we rally up with Alejandre, get with his crewmates, and then for some odd reason, they thought it'd be cool. I thought it was kind of cringe, the whole scene was kind of cringe. You basically get everyone together, and they're like, we have no one we can trust no more, we're on our own, it's just us. So if you're a part, we're not, we're not a part of Task Force 141 or the Los Vajos, I think they're called, or Los Vajalas or whatever, uh, which are like basically the freedom fighters that are fighting against the cartel corruption. And they're like, we're not a part of those groups anymore. We're part of our own team called the Ghost Team. <laughs> Ghost Team, bro. Ghost was not even the leader of the unit, so why was he chosen to be the, the mascot of this, basically? Like, they made fun of him for it. Like, they, like, I'm sorry. Like, what the fuck was that all about? And then on top of that, on top of that, they made him all put Ghost Mask on, bro. And then we got a slight sneak peek at what Ghost looks like. Ghost takes off his mask. Why he would take off his mask in that situation to me is mind-blowing because I don't understand it I don't get it man like he had no reason to take off his ghost mask just to put it back on again Like he had no reason that was purely the most useless 30 seconds ever right and they didn't show his face. We got a kind of a sneak peek. We know he's a white guy now for sure. We know he's a hundred percent a white man um and he at least has, I think it's brownish, blondish hair. It's like right in the middle. Because um, we only saw like a slight side profile. Uh, and he's a little bit on the older-ish, you know, I would say late 30s, early 40s. Um, just because you can see in some scenes he has like ring really bad wrinkles in his eyes, around his eyes, which is, and, and it has camo on his eyes and all that shit. So it's pretty obvious he's, he's a little bit older. Maybe not as old as Price, probably, but a little bit less 
couple of years less in age than Price. And yeah, man, that that was probably the worst scene. That scene when it came on, I just busted up laughing. And I'm so glad that I wasn't live comming this entire story because that whole Aaron, that whole cut scene would have been blasted by me just laughing because I was like, bro, this is crazy, bro. Actually insane. Like they literally just memed Ghost and his entire mass and his entire facade. Um, and that's not including all the times they ripped off different sayings from the original. If I should go through and do a video on it, I, I, I think I'll probably do it in a later date and go through. There's a bunch of times. You'll probably catch them when you're playing the game or watching the game being played. A ton of times they rip off the original's lines. Um, Easter eggs are fine, but, like, they were just flat out ripping off. Like, one time, I think, it was, one of the lines they ripped off, like, three times in a fucking row, bro. Three times in a row, they ripped off the same fucking line word for word in a row, bro. It was, it's, it's just, it's kind of disappointing because I was expecting something different. I was expecting to get a ghost, but ghost in a, in a different way. Like, I really respected the idea that ghost was feared. Ghost was someone that people should be feared of, and that was really cool in this game. They they definitely did and um, focused on the idea that Ghost was a, this like this ultra dangerous character, which was cool. Um, like I know a couple of the cartels really like they were like digging his name, they're like fearing his name and all that shit. That was really dope. But at the same time, give my man a Ghost. A, give my, like we did barely even see Captain Price. We don't like we barely got to see Captain Price, and he was the leader of this unit. Where was he? Like, half the missions. Like, and they had the team split up. You had Gaz and Price doing one thing. And he had Soap and Ghost do another thing. Um, and, and we obviously only got one mission where Farah was involved. And I really like her character and her character arc. And they kind of just didn't do anything with the character arc for her. Which was kind of odd. Um, and this whole video has been basically <laughs> talking about Ghost. <laughs> um, that's like the only thing I need, that I had on my chest. Like I just, I, I got really bothered by the fact that they really abused my man Ghost like that. They just, they low-key violated that man. Um, but otherwise, that's pretty much the only issue I have with the game. The only other issue that I saw people talking online, and I think it's a bug, is I don't know if it's auto-fixing the the difficulty in the game, but I took notice that I was dying a whole lot in the campaign, and you guys are going to see that. A lot of weird cuts in the, the videos are also me cutting out deaths, because at some points, there just was so many deaths in a fucking row that I had no choice but to cut it out because I was going past the 60-minute limit that I could upload on, on, on Share Factory on PS5. <coughs> and I don't know why. I don't know why. So, like, the TTK on Storyline was so fucking quick bro it's actually insane um but people are saying this happened the same thing for them and they're playing on normal i was playing on recruit so i don't know i don't know let me guys know if you guys are having any issues with that on your end i personally was dying a whole lot and i don't know why and it makes me slightly terrified for veteran playthrough because i eventually do want to do a veteran playthrough but i'm slightly terrified <laughs> slightly terrified but anyway guys Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I got more storyline videos coming. Uh, I might just upload them tonight. I'm not tired at the moment. And I kind of just want to pump them out so that I can delete this. Because I have 150 gigs and just gameplay stored on my PS5 right now. I can't even download anything. Um, because I have, I have literally 150 gigs of my system storage just going to holding these videos. So I want to get them pumped out so I can actually delete some of these gameplays. But if you guys want me to do another video talking about some other things I didn't like about the storyline, the guns, all that type of stuff, let me know in the comments. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the storyline videos that are coming out. Hope you guys enjoy the vins that are already out. Part 1 and 2 are out. And um, I, I fucking love you guys. You're awesome. And thank you guys for so much support recently. We've, we've hit some crazy milestones. This is actually going to be my 903rd video public on my account. We're about to hit 15,000 views. We're about to hit 420 subs. Like, I just, I fucking love y'all, man. You guys are awesome. You guys are fucking amazing people out there, man. I'm so thankful for y'all. But anyway, guys, keep going crazy out there. Play some MW2. Watch some MW2. Show some love. And I'll see you guys in the next fucking video. To the next one, it's been your boy, Matt here. Peace.